in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen Send forth thy spirit and they shall be created and thou shall renew the face of the earth let us pray o god who did teach the hearts of thy faithful people by sending them the light of the holy spirit grant us by the same spirit to have a right judgment in all things and ever more to rejoice in his holy comfort through christ our lord amen an act of contrition my god i believe in thee i hope in thee I love thee above all things with all my soul with all my heart and with all my strength I love thee because thou art infinitely good and worthy of being loved and because I love thee I repent with all my heart of having offended thee have mercy on me a sinner amen, amen. for the intentions of the holy father our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen invocations to our lady we fly to thy patronage o holy mother of god despise not our petitions in our necessities but ever deliver us from all dangers o glorious and blessed virgin o mother of perpetual succor thou whose very name inspires confidence help me o loving mother that i may love and serve god with all my heart help me o loving mother that i may never neglect prayer help me o loving mother in temptations against the holy virtue of purity help me o loving mother that i may quickly rise again should i have the misfortune to fall into sin help me o loving mother that i may labor zealously to get rid of my sinful habits help me o loving mother that i may courageously resist the seductions of the world evil companions bad books and films help me o loving mother that i may often and devoutly receive the sacraments and fulfill my christian duties and the duties of my state help me o loving mother that i may be patient and resigned in all trials and troubles of life help me o loving mother in sickness and pain in poverty and distress help me o loving mother that i may not delay my conversion from day to day help me o loving mother that i may ever love and serve thee and invoke thy assistance help me o loving mother that i may be able to lead others to love serve and pray to thee help me o loving mother when death is near and i am about to pass into eternity help me o loving mother to my last star to my last breath do thou watch over me help me o loving mother pray for us o mother of perpetual succor that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ let us pray o almighty and merciful god who in order to assist the human race has willed the blessed virgin mary to become the mother of thy only begotten son grant we beseech thee that by her intercession we may avoid the contagion of sin and serve thee with a pure heart through the same christ our lord amen Let us at this moment offer up all our prayers and thanksgiving for the many favors that we have received through the intercession of Mother Mary. In thanksgiving for a job after many years, for a good marriage proposal, for a cure from various diseases, for a successful surgery. for peace in the family and for all the favors that have been obtained 
through the intercession of Our Lady of Perpetual Succor. We also offer to the Lord our prayers and petitions that through the intercession of Mother Mary, the Lord may grant our heart's desires. We pray for all those who are sick and suffering in hospitals. We pray for a cure of heart blockages. We pray for a cure from a severe attack of COVID. We pray for all those who are undergoing surgery. We pray for all those who are suffering from various illnesses, cancer, diabetes, blood pressure. We pray for all those who are critical. We pray for all those who are going through mental issues, various kinds of fear and anxiety and stress. We pray for all those who are searching for a job, all those who want to go abroad and need to procure a visa. We pray for our family members, our parents, our children, our siblings, our grandparents, our relatives, and all those who are close to us. We pray for all those who have asked for our prayers and all those whom we have promised to pray for. We also lift up to the Lord our own needs that the Lord may grant our heart's desires according to his will. Navina prayers. O Mother of Perpetual Succor, behold me, a miserable sinner at thy feet. I have recourse to thee and put my trust in thee. O Mother of Mercy, have pity upon me. I hear thee call by all the refuge and the hope of sinners. Be then my refuge and my hope. Succor me for the love of Jesus Christ. Stretch forth thy hand to me, a poor sinner who recommend and dedicate myself to thee as thy perpetual servant. I bless and thank God for having in his mercy given me this confidence in thee, the pledge as I believe of my eternal salvation. Alas, too often in past times have I miserably fallen because I had not recourse to thee. I know that with thy help I shall conquer. I know that thou will help me if I recommend myself to thee. But I fear lest in the occasion of falling, I should cease to call upon thee, and so should lose my soul. This then is the grace I seek from thee, and I beg of thee as far as I know how and can, to obtain it for me, namely in the assaults of hell, always to have recourse to thee, and to say to thee, O Mary, help me, Mother of Perpetual Succor, Suffer me not to lose my God. Amen. Amen. Mother of perpetual succor, pray for thy children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mother of perpetual succor, pray for thy children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mother of perpetual succor, pray for thy children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, succor the miserable, help the faint-hearted, Cheer those that weep, pray for the people, be the advocate of the clergy, intercede for all devout women, let all feel thy aid, who implore thy perpetual succor. Thou hast been made for us, O Lady, a refuge, a helper in need and tribulation. Let us pray. 
O Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us thy mother Mary, whose wondrous image we venerate to be our mother, ever ready to succor us, grant we beseech thee that we who earnestly implore her maternal aid may deserve to enjoy perpetually the fruit of thy redemption, who lives and reigns world without end. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, next week on the 14th of Feb, we celebrate Valentine's Day, a day that many people come together to express their love for each other. And today, I would like to base my homily on the topic of love. What is love? I feel love is the most abused and misused word today. People are so disillusioned by this expression of love that they feel that they don't want to love because they don't want to end up being hurt or betrayed. And sometimes we relate love to a human in the same way we love an animal or love our gadgets. And Pope Francis will say that love is not what we see in the movies, or love is not what we see there. Love is not playing violins, all romantic. No, love is work. Love shows itself in works, in actions, and not merely words. We see many people falling in love. And oh, what a fall it is. Love is not falling, dear brothers and sisters, but it is in being. I would like to share with you three points for reflection. The first two is what love is not. And the third one is what love is. The first one is love is not having expectations. Sometimes we feel that for people in order to love us have to meet our expectations. We expect them to think the way we think. We expect them to say what we feel. We expect them to act in the way that we would want them to. So our entire life, we are trying to fulfill other people's expectation of us or we want people to meet our expectations. And sadly, this kind of barter system we carry on even in our close relationships or friendships. And when people are not able to meet our expectations, then we feel that they love us less we feel that they have changed, and because of which we change our behavior and attitude towards them. Can you imagine, dear brothers and sisters, how strenuous this so-called love would be? Wherein I cannot really be myself, I lose my purpose in life, and I find 
life meaningless. Why? Only because I am trying to please people all the time or wanting others to please me, to meet my expectations. And when there is an expectation, there is also the big ego. Keep the ego out of love, dear brothers and sisters, if you really want to experience love in its truest and purest sense. The second thing, love is not an attachment. Very often, dear brothers and sisters, we receive love and affection from others. There is a tendency to be drawn towards those who give us that appreciation, who acknowledge us, who give us that love wherein we feel comfortable. And this develops into an attachment. What is this attachment? It is not that I love you very much and now I am so attached to you, but rather this attachment is the need to be in control. We try to control people emotionally, or rather, sometimes they control our emotions. That whatever they say or do begins to affect us. Let them say something that we do not like and our entire day is disturbed. We want to control people. We want to control the way we, they think, the way they behave, the way they function. We want to control their emotions, especially if we are attached to them. We use control in the name of love. And when this emotional attachment becomes too strong, it becomes an obsession, it becomes possessiveness. It helps, it makes us be suspicious, makes us doubt the other person, especially when we are not in control. Pope Francis will say that love, dear brothers and sisters, is in serving others and not controlling them. And therefore, the opposite of attachment is to detach. But to detach does not mean that we have nothing to do with others, but rather to detach means not to be emotionally controlled by others. And we in turn do not emotionally control others. Rather, we only begin to let go. And the third thing, dear brothers and sisters, is the love which is pure, the love which is true, and that is unconditional love. We will say that no one can love us in this manner. For some, the closest that they could experience this kind of love is from their parents, though not all may have this experience. Yes, it is difficult to love unconditionally. It is challenging. However, it is not impossible. And in order to be unconditional in our love towards each other, we first have to experience, we first have to receive this unconditional love. And the only one who can love us unconditionally in the purest and truest sense is God. God is love. And what do we need to do in order to receive this unconditional love? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Because love is not so much in the doing, but it is in the being. We need to be aware of God's presence in our lives, in our situations, and allow God to love us. What is this unconditional love that I'm talking to you about? It's a big word, but it has a very simple meaning. It is a love 
that accepts me the way I am. Acceptance. And when I experience this love of God in my own life first, only then can I love myself, can I love others in the true and pure sense. Jesus, dear brothers and sisters, is the source of this love. He is the source of my love. And then, when I experience this love of God in my own life every single day, I am not dependent on others to love me. I don't go chasing around people to love me. I don't need to have anything in order to attract love. Because God is the source of my love. God is love. And the time I spend with God, becoming aware of His presence, love, the more I am filled with His presence, love, in my life. And that's when I will be able to love others in the same way. Brothers and sisters, only God can fill whatever is lacking in our life. God's love will transform us. It is God's love that will change us. And when we have his love in our hearts, then we can express this love to others. A love with no expectations. A love which is not an obsessive attachment, but a love which is all accepting. Now let me share with you something. Even though we all know that love is an emotion. Let me tell you, it is more than just a feeling. Don't love based on the way you feel, because feelings are temporary. But rather, love is a decision. It is a choice that no matter what, in spite of all the faults, the weaknesses, the failures, the mistakes, the limitations, I still accept you. You don't have to think my way. You don't have to do my way. You don't have to feel my way. I still accept you. You may ask me, but Father, what about the times that I have shown unconditional love, especially to those who I'm so close to, but at the end, I still end up being hurt, being betrayed, or taken for granted? Brothers and sisters, if we are dependent on others to love us, that's when we will feel that we are taken for granted. That's when we will end up being hurt. But the moment we know that Jesus is the source of my love, I don't need anyone else to love me, that no matter what they do, it will not affect me. I still will love and accept the other person. And this love which I exercise in my life, in my relationships, can transform and change a person for the better. Because love is a much more powerful force than evil. And therefore, dear brothers and sisters, do not be afraid to love. Because the source of love is God. It is Jesus. And when I have his love in my heart, then I can accept myself first and also accept others and love them the way they are. You know, we are so used to saying to one another, I love you, I love you. We tell this word, I love you, the phrase I love you to everyone, to persons, to animals, to our gadgets, etc. But I would want to make a suggestion, say, rather than using this word or this phrase, I love you. Let us express acceptance. Let us replace I love you with I accept you. I feel it is much more meaningful and has a much deeper impact. Let us during this novena, brothers and sisters, and during this week also spend time allowing God to love us so that we can love. 
I like what Pope Francis said recently. He said that loving Christ means, loving like Christ means going beyond ourselves and opening up to those who are in greater need. To love as Christ means to put yourself at the service of others, the service of your brothers and sisters. It means making ourselves available as we are and with what we have. This means to love not in words only, but also in deeds. Amen. The Memorare. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly to thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise of my petitions. But in thy, in thy mercy, mercy hear and answer me. me. Amen. Amen. Merciful Lord, whose mercies are without number and whose goodness is without end, you abide with your people in a wondrous manner and are with us all days, even to the end of time. By your kindly presence, direct our minds. With your guiding love, watch over our paths. With your powerful help, deliver us from every tribulation, from all danger and sin that we may on earth always live with you and in you and in your eternal dwelling. Enjoy your presence forever. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Lord, hear my prayer. And let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Grant we beseech to you, Lord God, that these thy servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body. And by the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, be delivered from present sorrow and enjoy eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord Jesus Christ be amongst you to defend you, within you to preserve you, before you to guide you, after you to guard you, above you to bless you, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Through the intercession of our Mother of Perpetual Succor, may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Mary from the secret image With those eyes so sadly sweet Mother of perpetual succor, see us kneeling at thy feet. In thy arms, thy child thou bearest, so, so full of joy and woe. What thy bliss, how 
accord. Praise be God, Almighty Father. Praise be Christ, the Son, our Lord. Praise be God, the Holy Spirit. Triune God, and be adored. Let us pray. O oh God, in this wonderful sacrament, you have left us the memorial of your passion. Grant that we may so reverence the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that the taste of the fruit of your redemption may ever be within us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The divine praise is all together. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be a holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Mother, dearest, Mother, fairest, help of all who call on thee. Virgin, purest, brightest, rarest, us help we cry to thee mary help us help we pray mary help us help we pray help us in all care and sorrow mary help us help we pray mary help in pain and sorrow soothe those racked on bed of pain May the golden light of morrow bring them health and joy again. Mary, help us, help we pray. Mary, help us, help we pray. Help us in all care and sorrow. Mary, help us, help we pray. Help our priests, our sisters, lowly. Help our Pope, long may he reign. Pray that we who sing their praises may in heaven all meet again. Mary, help us, help we pray. Mary, help us, help we pray. Help us in all care and sorrow. Mary, help us, help we pray. Mary, help the absent loved ones, how we miss their presence here. May the hand of thy protection guard and guide them far and near. Mary, help us, help we pray. Mary, help us, help we pray. Help us in all care and sorrow. Help we pray. 
in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.